feel like all that I do these days, you just get bogged for YouTube. <laughs> Not what you wanted, right? G'day guys, and welcome to part two of using Max Tracks as a sand anchor. So if you haven't seen part one, maybe watch that video before this one, it'll just make a little bit more sense as to what I'm talking about. So I posted a video of how to use Max Tracks as a sand anchor, and I had quite a few comments, so I just wanted to bring some of them out to you guys. Uh, one comment was, very interesting, I'd love to see you do this again with a bogged car. Another one, great idea mate, try it again bogged, could be interesting. Interesting, but you weren't actually bogged. If they could pull out a bogged vehicle, I would be seriously impressed. And the last comment that I want to bring out, I'd love to see this used in a rear recovery situation. So, thanks for the comments guys. I always appreciate comments to see what you guys are thinking about the content I'm creating. But I just wanted to maybe explain myself as to where you'd use this recovery technique. So, if you ask me if you're bogged on the beach, it's not worth using this recovery technique because just use Max Tracks as they're designed. You know, stick them under their tyres, you're going to get yourself out a lot quicker than burying them in the sand and winching to them. Because like if you think about it, it's probably a 20 minute exercise at least to dig the hole, set it all up, get the winch out, pull yourself up and pack up everything. So that's the way I look at it. Now you may be wondering then, what is the purpose? Like where would you use this? Well. Here's one example of where I think you could use this uh, technique. So, in this footage here, you can see a friend of mine got himself into a bit of a sticky situation. There was uh, a lot of erosion on the beach, and it was probably a one meter to one and a half meter drop where this happened. So, we all make mistakes, and unfortunately, this was a little bit of a bad choice on his part. Um, Justin said I could totally use this footage as long as I didn't bag him out too much. <laughs> But um, anyway, in this situation here, if we could have used the front winch on his car just to hold his front end up, because there was quite a bit of an angle on this section that he was stuck on, it would have been a lot easier to winch him backwards without the front of the car sliding down. Now we did manage just to use my winch just to pull him backwards and the Max tracks to support the weight of the car, and that worked fairly well, but it just would have made it a little bit easier if we could have buried the Max tracks over the hill and use the front of his winch to just hold the front of the car so it couldn't slip towards the edge of the uh, little erosion bank. So that's kind of a real world situation where it'd be probably good to use this technique. So another reason I kind of did that whole scenario in part one of this video was because from my basic understanding of physics, I technically thought there'd be more weight on the whole system by winching up a hill than simply just pulling myself out of a recovery situation on a flat beach. And realistically, if you're stuck on a hill, most of the time you can just reverse out of it as well. So that's kind of why, because I just figured there'd be more weight on the whole system and I could really test it out. Um, some of the other comments that people made was, uh, what if you buried the Max Tracks horizontally? And I reckon if you actually were really, really stuck and you needed to rely on it, I actually reckon that would work really, really well. Like if you just buried them like that, like because obviously the more sand you have on top of them, the more weight you got, the more they're going to want to stay on the ground. So that's a really good idea, but what it comes down to for me is they're a like, real pain in the butt to get out because they're so buried under all the sand. So that's kind of why I like my technique a little bit better because it's just easier to get them out afterwards. You're doing a great job bro, keep going. Oh uh, good, your turn. I feel like with all this digging we're doing, we might just stick the car up. Alrighty guys, so we've buried the Max Tracks just like we did in part one of this video. So for your personal enjoyment, let's do this. Are you ready to lose, buddy? I'm ready to lose. I'm ready to win. It's not like you're ready to lose. Go on. Ah! Pay attention, mate. Yeah. Hey. I'm you, distracted. So, I'm not distracted at all, mate. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
What just happened? I think the car just pulled itself out, mate. <laughs> you you want to keep it's bugged? You, you want to keep playing or what? I guess so. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Again, mate. Tell you what, this sure is a nice way to recover your car, eh? Pretty easy. Do all cars do this? I or think is so. Is this the Mazda? Thing? Yeah, it's a special feature of the Mazda, mate. Oh, okay. Got it. Alright, alright. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have a winner. It was definitely me. <laughs> I hate this game, alright? <laughs> alright. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well that's how you lose the cards. <laughs> nah, it's but like uh, cheat. Oh really? Yeah you cheated. But there you go guys, can a car get itself out with the Max Track sand anchor system? What do you reckon? We just left it in drive in low range and it just putted out, so uh Proof is in the pudding. Proof is in the pudding. So uh, if you got more comments, chuck them down below. I always enjoy reading them. And we'll catch you in another video, guys. Thanks for watching. You ready to and lose If it? you still don't believe us, make your own video and show us how it's done. <laughs> That's right. So you want to play another game or what? Yeah, may as well. Uh, I need to get back my uh, reputation. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Probably won't. You'll probably break your car. Snap your chassis in half. Uh, it's a Mazda, you know.